Today we're down in the Toy Museum in Crystal Springs and we are going to value this section behind the staircase. It's kind of like a hidden cubby hole, but it's loaded with all kinds of good stuff. A lot of Pop Funkos, a lot of Melissa and Doug plus, just some really cool items. So we're going to take it all piece by piece and see what the value is. Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I love even more. My goal now is to move my massive toy collection to a building and call it Mississippi's Totally Awesome Toy Museum and make it open to the public. I want to make it a tourist attraction for our state. So now I'm just going to make a ton of videos and value my toy collection. And then I'm going to make some where I take you shopping with me to thrift stores and flea markets and toy stores to let you see where I find all these goodies. So when we go up the staircase, you can see on the opposite side of the railing, there are just boxes and boxes of toys. And we'll just peek over and you can kind of see this area. There's all kinds of good things down there. We've got this giant palm tree. We've got these parrots. Then we have this cool Atlanta Olympics torch lamp they use in the downtown area. I think they shot out fire from the top. All kinds of cool things. And we're going to value everything piece by piece and see what it's worth. All right, well, let's jump right in and start valuing everything. We have the season three giant TV from FGT. Um, it's worth about $20. And we have this loose giant pop Funko. I think that's LeBron James. He's worth about $20. Then we have the Garbage Pell Kid Unraveled Warrior, $18. See Thing Steve, $18. Savage Randy, $22. And Gigantic Andre, $20. Next up, we have the Superman and Lois Funko set, and they're worth about $30. Then we have the Captain Crunch and Crunchberry Beast worth $25. Next, we have the Godfather Vito Corleone worth $32. I got that for Christmas. Then we have the Royal Bobble Stan Lee set, and it's worth about $25. And then next up, we have a mini co figure of Stan Lee, and it's worth about $23. And next up, we have Freddie Mercury, the set. It's worth about $15. And then we have Mariah Carey Merry Christmas set worth about $17. And then from WandaVision, we have that loose set up there worth $8. And then we have the set from the 1970s worth $10. Next up, the set from 1960s worth $15. And then another one of the black and white sets under it, under it, the same one we had loose. And in the box, it's worth about $14. And then from the 1980s, that set's worth about $14. The 2000s Wanda and Agatha set's worth $11. And then the 2000s Wanda and Vision set's worth $15. Then we have this really cool Justice League, the Brave and the Bold, and it's worth about $30. And then moving down here to the bottom, we have the She-Ra on Swift Wind, and it's worth about $30, still in the box. And then this one's really impressive. Smokey and the Bandit in the car, $120. Next up from Ghostbusters, we have Dr. Peter Vickman. He's worth about $38 with a firehouse. And then we have these gorgeous ladies of wrestling figures. This is Ruth and Debbie, and they're worth $20. Now let's see, behind them we have this Friends Crochet Kit. You can make the couch and the cup of coffee is worth $6. And then the Solar Power Cup of Coffee is worth $12. Next up we have the Jimi Hendrix Are You Experienced set and it's worth $25. And then we have the Elvis Presley Pure Gold set and it's worth $42. And the Wonder Woman set, she's worth $20. And we have some sports figures. We have Tom Brady worth $10 and Baker Mayfield worth $12. Have the Britney Spears, oops, I did it again, set worth $25. And then we have these Mickey and Minnie sets. They are worth $13 and $11. And then Donald and the Train is worth $26. And then we have Minnie at Sleeping Beauty's Castle and it's worth $34. 
Now next up, this little guy's pretty valuable. He was a store display where they were advertising the Wacky Wobblers from Funko. And this is Freddy Funko. He always has the crown on. And his lowest value on eBay is $475. Next up, we have a larger sports figure of Dak Prescott. And he's worth about $15, even though the price was $25. That was the lowest value on eBay at um, $15. So hopefully he'll go up a little bit more. Next we have Jimi Hendrix, the large figure. He's worth $21. I have the Haunted Mansion Attraction and Butler set. That's worth about $70. And then we have this Superheroes Gingerbread set from Walmart. Kind of different, but it's worth about $33. Next up we have the Etch and Sketch, the Stan Lee version. And it's worth $14. Next up, we have the Stan Lee Mego type of action figure, and he's worth $20. And then up here, we have the Fruity Pebbles plush. It's worth $10. Then I have the Shoney's Big Boy with Restaurant, and he's worth $25. And then we have the Hall of Justice, the Batman set, and it's worth $25 as well. And then I have the gold... Tom Brady large figure, he's worth $30. And then the smaller figure up here, we have the Jimi Hendrix figure, he's worth $12. And then from the TLC musical group, we have all three of these figures and they're worth $7 each. So that would make this set worth $21. And then right below them from the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, we have Clark Griswold and he's worth $75. And then we have Doctor Strange versus the Scarlet Witch set, and it's worth $25. And then we have these two loose figures. They're worth $4 each. That makes $8. And behind them, we have Fred Flintstone in his house. He's worth $52. Then up here, we have Freddy Funko with the factory, and he's worth $45. And then from this company called Rock Candy, we have Betty Rubble. She's worth $28, and Wilma Flintstone worth $29. Next up, we have the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, and it's worth $25. The Notorious Big Large figure is worth $15. And then the smaller figures right here, Little Wayne, he's worth $9. And the Notorious Small figure is worth $9 as well. And then hiding over here on the other side, we have the gold vinyl figure of Ice Cube, and he's worth $9. He's one of the loose figures I showed earlier as well the Batman Alfred Pennyworth Wayne Manor sets worth $30 and the Deadpool X Unicorn Q figure is worth $40. I had to go back to these when I could get to them. We have the LeBron James Chase figure in the purple outfit. He's worth $25. They're kind of harder to get the Chase figures, but um, they're really good looking figures. And then next we have the one, the regular one in the yellow uniform and he's worth $22. All right, now we have to go to all the miscellaneous stuff under the stairs. We have this vintage Tiger 2XL robot cassette player worth $25. And then we have my stack of CDs in the tower, and they're worth $150. We have about 150 CDs. Have this cheese and mouse vintage radio worth $25. Nice little flower arrangement worth about $25. And then it's on this metal pedestal stand that's worth about $20. Now next up we have this really cool giant sloth stuffed animal and he's worth about $20. Then we have this giraffe with a crown on worth about $15 and the Madagascar giraffe worth about $25. He's huge. And then we have this vintage little white radio hiding over there on the side. It's worth about $10. Then down here at the bottom, we have this little giraffe worth about $15. And the small kangaroo right there worth about $15 as well. Then we have the Melissa and Doug deer. He's worth $100. I didn't realize he was worth that much, but I am glad he is. Now next up, we have the Melissa and Doug husky plush. He's worth $50, and I attached a pet costume of a surfer on him that's worth about $10. This little wooden table is worth about $35. Now, next up, we have this Melissa and Doug kangaroo. He is worth $60. He's huge, and the Melissa and Doug Dalmatian is worth $75. This little bitty kangaroo down here is worth about $8 trying to value everything to see what my total is this flower arrangement here is huge it's worth about 30 dollars 
And then let's see what else. We have this bamboo um, cabinet we keep our radio in. It's worth about $50. And then the radio is probably worth about $20. And then we have some really cool stuff on top of this cabinet. We have this um, palm tree kind of stained glass lamp that's worth about $50. Have some souvenirs, a Statue of Liberty that's worth about $12. Then behind it, another Statue of Liberty worth about $12. And then we have the Liberty Chica Five Nights at Freddy's figure back there that's worth $20. Then I have this really cool Freddy Funko statue. Now he's pretty valuable. He's worth about $2,500 and I'm really glad to own him. He was really hard to get and he's really rare, but he is in the toy museum and I'm a happy camper. I have this huge Melissa and Doug giraffe worth $58. Now, next up from the Simpsons movie back from 2007, I have this giant life-size cutout of Homer Simpson's hand holding a donut, and it's worth about $200. It could be worth a little bit more than that, but I'm gonna say about 200. Sitting up here on my torch lamp, I have three parrots. The two smaller parrots are worth about $5 each, and that huge one is worth about $25. Hiding in the back corner of the room, I have this ginormous palm tree. I paid $800 for this when it was new, so I figure it's worth about $350. And then I have this really cool torch lamp from the Atlanta Olympics game. They were on the streets, and they, did, um, they do have a gas tubing where you can have a torch come out. And it's worth about $1,500. I only paid $125. Then I have this cute little meerkat down here. I named him I Beat Scotty because I beat my brother at the fair and won this. It's worth about $8. Now behind the lamp in the palm tree, we have these cool flowers. They're ginormous. And we have a total of six different ones. So I valued them at about $5 each, about $30. And then that giraffe, about $20. Then I have another little old vintage jam box here that was my parents, and I figure because it's retro, it's worth about $25. Some more miscellaneous stuff. We have this empty soda Funko can box that's worth about $10. And then we have this really cool KFC bucket with a Funko figure and t-shirt in it that's worth about $40. I just bought it because I really love the graphic of it being like a old KFC chicken bucket. Next, we have this little Ridley Jones figure set from Netflix, and it's worth about $8. I actually haven't seen that show yet. Then I have this really cool Marvel Advent calendar, and it's worth about $30. It shows you on the back everything you get in it. I think you get some little figures and little happy surprises. All right, you've got another couple steps full of stuff here. This is stuff I just need to add to shelves that I've already priced, so I just need to do a value for these. All right, first we have this Mickey and Minnie Day of the Dead doll set. Um, it's worth $240. It's really cool. I saw these on eBay and had to go get me one. I need to stay off eBay. Next up, we have Minnie by herself, and she is worth $50. Next up, I just saw this movie called Onward. It's um, a couple years old, but it was so cute. I had to go get some toys to kind of commemorate that I watched the show, and this figure set's worth $24. Next, I got the Dahlia doll from the Aladdin movie. I just watched it. She's worth about $12 because her box came in a little banged up from eBay. I hate it when that happens. Somebody sent me a little Disneyland brochure. I figure it's worth about a dollar. And then I was going through all my Pop Funkos and realized I had Mexico for It's a Small World set, so I needed to get the rest of them. Here is Japan, and she is worth $11. And then Kenya is worth $7. And then the United States is worth $7. England is worth $8. And the Netherlands was the more valuable one. She's worth $22. And then I got the Derbs, I believe is how you say it, the boat ride, and it is worth $24. Next up from Avatar, I haven't seen this movie yet, but we have Natiri, number 1322, worth $11, and then Jake Sully, number 1321, worth $14. Got the Britney Spears 262 Funko, worth $10, and then I got the uh, Wakanda Queen Ramonda, worth $8. 
got the Scarlet Witch Soda Funko for $32. That's what she's worth. And then the Black Panther is worth $8. And then I got the Queen Ramonda uh, Soda figure also for $8. And I also ordered the Chase. She's not in yet. And then let's see who else we got. I might not pronounce them all right. Annika, the Midnight Warrior. She's worth $8. Lord. Okoye? She's worth $8. The Namar Chase, I got the king, the, the evil guy, and he is worth $25. I'm always excited to get a Chase figure, even if it's not worth a fortune. It's just fun that you get the one in six rare character. And then the last one I got from the Wakanda set is the Mabaka Wakanda. I know I'm butchering those names, worth $8. All right, got a couple more shelves to go here to see what all we have to add to our other shelves. I just always pick up stuff. Got a Descendant shopping bag. It's worth about $3. I have the Funko set of Agatha Harkness versus the Scarlet Witch, worth about $30. And then I got some vintage metal, metal roller skates for $10. I got a church sale for $2. I thought those were pretty cool to put in the toy museum. And then I have this Infinity Saga Scarlet Witch, who's worth about $12. And then to complete some sets I had, I had this Franix Totally Fab figure and a Weirdos figure. They're worth about $10. And then, um, let's see what else we have. We have so much stuff. Next up, from The Strange World, I just saw this movie and I loved it. It was so good. I have the book that's worth about $6. It's a golden book. And then we have the figure set that's pretty hard to find. It's worth $45. I did pay that for it because there's just not many on eBay at all listed. So I just, when I watch a cool movie, I like to have the toy to remember how cool the movie was. And to complete our DJ Scribble Spinhead set, I got the red car. It's worth about $10. Got the African American male worth about $10. The blonde headed boy, $10. And the African American girl worth about $15. So that does complete my set of those. Now, next we have the Rick and Morty Funko, number 112, worth $15. From WandaVision, I got the Harkness, worth $11. And then I have my last one to complete my Hamilton set, Thomas Jefferson, worth $11. And then, oh, I think this is my last one for WandaVision Vision. He's worth $10. And Inspector Gadget, $9. And the Hostess Fruit Pie, $16. Ooh, it's hard to keep up with my videos sometimes. Then I got these Mill Squads. I got the Cup. He's worth $12. The French Fries, $12. The Hamburger, $12. And the Speedy Logo Character, $18. Then I got these Loose Encanto Dolls. They're worth $7 each. And then the Nude Sister over there, about $3. It's so good for me doing these videos of videotaping everything I own so I can keep up with it. I have the Black Panther t-shirt and Funko set, and it's worth about $13. And then I have Lady Tremaine, number 1080. She's worth $10. Then I have the Soup Nazi from Seinfeld, number 1086. So he's worth $10 as well. Another cute movie, Turning Red. I have Maylin Lee. She's worth $10. And then from WandaVision, I have these loose sets. This is the 70 set worth $8. And then I have the 60 set loose that's worth $8 as well. Then I have from Harry Potter, Rubus Hagrid with the Leaky Cauldron set worth $24. Then I have Minnie Mouse number 1251. She's worth $12. And then we have Eagly number 1236. He's worth $13. And from The Simpsons, Marjoria, $12.02, worth $9. And from Happy Days, Arnold's, $11.26, worth $10. We have the Funko set of The Wrestling Rink with John Cena and The Rock, worth $22. A Dak Prescott gold figure, worth $16. And then a Luca, another movie I just watched that I love, birthday party set, worth about $6. And then some random, we have some... Uh, Mermaid dolls and a little netting pack worth $6 and a pack of three worth $3. All right, with all the previous videos I've made so far of value on my toy collection over the last year, our total was $271,676. I've been working on these videos for over a year, so the total's finally getting up a little bit where I want it to be, but my goal is to see if my collection's worth a million dollars one day. 
Well, this video with a lot of our Funkos and miscellaneous items and some of our big ticket items comes out to be $8,798. That was a lot of stuff to cover in this video, wasn't it? So this being our 104th video, our grand total so far is $280,494. Man, this is a labor of love. I love inventory in the collection to see what it's worth. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video today. It's from a series we're making on YouTube called Value in My Toy Collection. If you did enjoy it, just hit subscribe. We're gonna make tons of other videos showing you the toys we find and part of my toy collection. So thank you so much for watching.